Hey everyone, Jeremy Milosevic here. Today I want to start the conversation about choosing a mouthpiece that works for you and that sounds and feels great. But before I do, please look in the description below for a few links that'll help you if you're a trumpeter who wants to build your range and endurance with a stunning and breathtaking sound. And please don't forget to subscribe and double click that bell icon. Okay, so this is a pretty easy one for me. I don't like switching mouthpieces when I'm playing in the high or low registers. I never have and I never will. I know some people like to do that, but for me, I found that most often in the real world of music, there's not a whole lot of time to switch to shallow equipment to play high notes, especially when you're in a show, a concert, or in the middle of a song. <laughs> I've also found that if you do put in a shallow mouthpiece, <clears throat> and you have to play in the middle register as well, the articulation and the sound loses its clarity in the middle register, and it can sometimes sound fuzzy. I've heard that happen with a lot of people. And I don't like sacrificing that stuff. I always go for the sound and not the feel. And going for the sound means really listening for the resonance and the overtones in your sound, whether soft or loud. And... We can continue that discussion in another video. Uh, but regarding the mouthpiece alone, <coughs> I am so used to playing my mouthpiece, which is a Bach 3C rim and then a medium depth cup by Bob Reeves. And I'm comfortable playing from low F sharp to the extent of my range on, on it. Now, if you want to get a darker sound, then by all means, other mouthpieces can help you go darker or brighter without sacrificing that clarity. I like to stick with the same rim size for everything and I never like going too shallow. I've never liked shallow mouthpieces. I tend to stick with a medium depth mouthpiece or my Bach 3C, which to me is kind of a medium depth mouthpiece. So my, my main tip is this, and it's not new, but uh, especially when you're practicing, stick with one mouthpiece that allows you to play from low F sharp all the way to the extent of your range, and then continue to develop the upper register through practice and hard work. And, you know, if you want to try shallower stuff or whatever, keep the same rim size. So for now, check out this video up here where I talk a little bit about a certain relaxation technique that will help you uh, in the upper register. And in this video, I'm playing one mouthpiece for the lower lyrical section and the same mouthpiece in the upper register. And right down here, I'm going to show you exactly where you can go to in the video to hear that. So... I know there are a lot of considerations when picking out your mouthpiece, but you really can simplify it by just using something that's going to work for you for the entire range of the instrument from low F sharp to your extent of your register and not sacrifice your tone in the low and middle registers. Okay, thanks so much for watching.